Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. Uh, today we're doing something a bit different. I've been asked to come to the workshop here. Uh, and I mean obviously it's not my workshop but I've been asked to come here. Um, and basically I'm doing a build. Uh, I have no idea what any of the parts are. Um, but I've been asked to make a video on it and that is what we're going to do today. Alright guys, so um, as, I just, as I mentioned before, uh, I had no hand in this build, I didn't pick any of the parts. Uh, so if anyone wants to nitpick me in the comments for a bad balance build, um, that's not my fault, I'm just building it. So um, what I am going to do though is I'm going to go through this with a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a comb and kind of make some suggestions on what I would have done different um, and the areas that I think that really it's a bit unbalanced. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's start going through the parts. Um, it's a bit blind at this point, so first up we've got a SSD, uh, it's an M.2. Uh, it's M SATA, so really not seeing the benefits of um, an M.2 slot, but that's okay. Uh, 275 gigs, so that'll be a good um, boot drive. Uh, what else we got? 16 gig of RAM, uh, 2 byte gig sticks, 2400 megahertz, Vengeance LPX, really can't go too wrong with that. It's pretty reasonable RAM. Uh, what else we got? Uh, hard drive, so mechanical, 3 terabyte. Um, actually, reasonably wise choice, to be honest. A lot of people kind of feel that they need to go with a SS large capacity SSD. Um, but realistically, I mean, unless you are highly impatient and want gains to load immediately, um, there's no problem with getting a 3 terabyte drive. Um, cheap storage, easy way to go. Uh, <laughs> okay. DVD drive. I haven't seen one of these in, well, I haven't seen one of these in a new PC in a very long time, to be honest, so I'm surprised that's included, but uh, maybe wants to watch DVDs or you know, just wants it there just in case, which is fair enough. It's uh, their build. Um, all right, what do we want? We want motherboard or processor? All right, let's start with the motherboard. Let's set the expectations high, and you'll understand why I said that in a second. So. MSI, uh, Z270 Gaming M7. I actually don't know this board, um, but it looks like it's a pretty high-end board. Uh, what have we got? CES 2017 Honoree, whatever that means. Doesn't look like it's an award that's noteworthy, but whatever. Um, uh, oh, three PCIe X16 slots. Not bad. Okay, that's not too bad. So. Um, but it looks like they're wanting to go SLI or Crossfire down the line, which is fair enough. Um, Alright, so that's the motherboard. So, there's really only one or two processors that belong in that board. And unfortunately, neither of those processors have been picked. It's an i7 7700. I'll say it again. It's an i7 7700. You notice there's a letter missing on the end that kind of makes the Z270 side worthwhile. Not overclockable. So, why? Why are you buying a several hundred dollar motherboard for a processor that you can't overclock? No logic to it to me, but okay, whatever. Um, not my money. And I guess it kind of looks cool, so it's got that going for it. Um, anyway, a uh, bit of a poor choice and poor balance, but hey, each to their own. Uh, Windows license, kind of need those, pretty important. Um, <laughs> hypocrisy continues. Uh, not only have we picked a processor that we can't overclock for a motherboard that's built for overclocking, we've also got a cooler that's meant for overclocking that is not on the, yeah, so we've got a water cooler for a non-overclockable processor. Bit unbalanced. Um, I really don't think people should be putting AIOs in computers uh, if they're not going to overclock. Uh, the reason I say this is, yes, you will get lower temperatures. Yes, it can help with longevity. But here's the thing. Uh, water coolers, be it AIO or custom water cooling, they still can potentially leak. Um, the pumps in these things fail quite often. Um, I, When I did my Ryzen build and put the H60 uh, in it temporarily, uh, the pump failed and I had to get a new one. Um, that was DOA, so I mean it's a little bit risky going water cooling, um, but again this person wants water cooling, um, so they can have it I guess. Uh, 
anyway, I digress. That's that's being a little harsh, but I said I'd be harsh, and you know, don't make that same mistake. All right, power supply. Again, solid choice. Uh, I would say that this is a bit overkill, um, but I'm of the opinion that you always want to go overkill on your power supply. Reason being, if you upgrade the graphics card in two or three years' time and it needs a better power supply, that's a lot of money. So you buy the power supply once, you leave it in the system for the life of the system through upgrades and everything, you can use the same power supply for years. Um, I know people that are still running 10 year old power supplies that were high end when they bought them and they have no issues, they haven't blown up, uh, anything like that. So MEGA 850 watt, um, that's pretty solid choice, it's gold rated, you know, no critiques there, uh, they've done well, they've picked the right thing. Now, um, last thing, and I would say this is appropriate, it's a GTX 1080, uh, it is a gaming build, uh, it's not a TI, it is only a 1080, um, says the person with an RX 480 in his build, but I digress. Uh, yeah, I mean, solid choice. Um, so, overall, I would rate this build as probably reasonably well balanced. Um, the only thing that really lets it down is a non-overclockable processor, but each to their own. Maybe they don't feel comfortable doing it. Not everyone does. So, um, yeah, overall, that's it. Uh, I actually have the invoice here as well. Now... Uh, please bear in mind that this is Australian pricing, so for those of you who follow US pricing, uh, double it, and that's Australian pricing, basically. Um, we pay something like it's 70 cents to the US dollar, but then we also pay Australia tax, which is essentially, um, because we live on the other side of the world, they think we, they can charge us more and justify it, but anyway. We're a small country, we don't have a choice. Um, Alright, so, overall, with that in mind, uh, $2,700. That is more than my Ryzen build. Just going to let that sink in. If anyone watches my channel, you know the specs of my computer. This costs more than it. Let that sink in. Alright, let's go ahead and build it! Alright guys, so we've finished the motherboard build now. Um, basically, the CPU is in, RAM's in, uh, the M.2 drive's in. Actually, the first time I've ever installed an M.2 drive. Um, a little bit more complicated than what it needs to be, but uh, anyway, I'm an old guy. Um, I like my SATA drives, so I'm a bit funny like that. Um, beside the point, case. Uh, it's time to put it in the case. Now, I haven't introduced it yet. Um, my first impressions from all the photos all around the case, because I haven't actually seen it yet, is kind of, um, seems like a case I would have bought maybe 10 years ago when I was young and in high school and right into the gamery look, but uh, at the end of the day it is for a young fellow who is <laughs> building a gaming rig, so I guess it suits it. Um, yeah, I mean, a case is a case, so let's put it in there and uh, let's get it built. Alright guys, so uh, first impressions actually now that it's out of its box, um, it's not so bad, it's got a nice side panel window, uh, nice handle feature, I remember these being a thing like years ago, they were pretty cool back then. Um, 
it seems like it's a bit of an older case. It's kind of been Jerry rigged uh, with some you know modern inclusions. Uh, it doesn't have a basement, but it looks reasonably modular. I mean, it looks like a good case at the end of the day. Uh, so let's get a well, let's get the motherboard uh, and the rest of the bits put in it and get it fired up. Alright guys, so moment of truth to see if it turns on. Um, build was a bit more complicated than expected. Uh, AIO gave us some troubles, um, but otherwise pretty fun, pretty clean. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It looks pretty nice inside that case. So all that's left is to see if it turns on. So, uh, moment of truth. Um, that's a good sign. Fans are spinning. Has life. Hopefully. Hey, all right, so it works. Uh, so for this system, not putting windows on it, um, basically this is going off to someone else to set up. Um, I was just responsible for the build. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like this one if you liked it, and dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below if you have any future suggestions or um, any, I don't know, a uh, bit of a different video for me. Um, if you like seeing this content, let me know, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.